Aaron's kind of making a, at least in my reading, a kind of bringing together um, sort of the countryside or nature and sort of mixing that with an image of the Garden of Gethsemane. And he also was um, uh, spent, you know, much of his life in uh, an abbey, which was called Gethsemane, so he could look outside of his, you know, um, house and see, I imagine, sort of the, the landscape he's describing. Yeah, I think she's thinking of, likely thinking of sort of our love for technology, our celebration of technology and our excitement and what we can do as humans and, and how we can um, uh, invent things and, and they can either make our lives better or of course they could also make our lives worse. And so. Now, both of these authors got me thinking a lot about Derek Jarman, who's, a, who's an artist who I really admire and he made a lot of films. And one of his films called The Garden actually takes place at his home in Dungeness, England, which um, he has a beautiful garden there, very small, kind of austere garden. But um, his home, for anyone who's a Derek Jarman fan, you know his home is between a lighthouse and a, a nuclear power. So somehow, all of a sudden, this third text, which is seemingly so different, 